Hello, welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. We're back at the square park, and in this episode, we're gonna start decorating around uh, the central part, and, uh, and then maybe decide what we're gonna do uh, with the rest of the space. I'm not sure at the moment. Uh, I was looking at potentially building another rock-based enclosure around here, with a um, something a bit bigger than our smaller creatures over here, but we will see when we get to that point. As I say, I just don't know. My plan was originally to kind of put enclosures going around the outside, but uh, again, I don't know. Maybe I'll add some spot enclosures for stuff but yeah let's uh let's get to it i'll think and plan as we go so we need stores so i'm gonna put one around and put that here there and put one here and then I'm gonna have yeah we got new path we got classic path so I might actually put the classic path in for this so that will shoot around to here Kind of loop that two together. I like these paths, they're kind of neat. And just like that, everything goes up Mill House. Okay, let's um let's get to the painting. We'll save that as a default. And then we'll we'll put some uh, stores just around. We'll do other bits. And then in the next episode, we'll look at what to do in this around the outside. Because I am still scratching my head on what to do. I'm going to put one there. Don't do that. And then once I uh, decide what I'm putting in each one, we can There you go, we can loop it, we can swoop it Wow, I don't need as much as as I would would normally think. I'm gonna have to put some over here for the uh So I put that there.
connect that up. Ooh, not a small one. To be fair, we could probably put a medium one over here because there's not a lot of... Uh... Not a lot of space required for it, to be fair. And we can also put an attraction over here. Um... I think an aquarium might be good over here. I don't think I've got one. Just put that across there. Yeah, this, this path looks a lot better. A lot, lot better. And we have new uh, new statues, like new skeleton statues, new other uh, decorations, which I'll show. Might as well do it now. Uh, so we got more banners. We've got the big, we got the Jurassic Park sign. We've got the when dinosaurs rule the earth sign. I uh, don't think we've got anything really in trees. Trees are just trees. Uh, in here, we have just a normal uh, down umbrella. There is uh, we got an open one as well. We have a big gate. Then we have the the walls on the Vista Center and also arches and curved walls, which is new. Um, I believe that was in the uh, dining area when they got attacked by the raptors in the first one. A log. Mr. DNA. Uh, I guess that was the original dining, uh, dining tables. T-Rex skeleton. Okay, I guess we can put that in the enclosure. Uh, a big arch, and then a brachiosaur. There you go. Why not? back back to this more like mud I'll have that looping around here bit of a cut through And down in the canyon, he bits. These ones will have to uh, stay around 
Mm. Let's get rid of that. Let's uh, reflatten this. Um, and then I, I guess I'll have the, uh, the facilities down on the hill, uh, well, in the middle, away from the hill. Maybe put an attraction over in that uh, section there. Have some mini golf. And why is that gone all weird? Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Right, I think... Hmm, maybe a small one then. And we just have a path come through here. And then that should connect everything. Maybe a medium was needed. Let's put a medium in, see if that will boost the... Uh... That boosted the desire. So much work to do. I'm actually going to build that enclosure over here, and we'll and I'll in and I'll think about what I'm going to. How I'm going to decorate around there. I do need to put some more the attract more of the attractions in, uh, just to just to do what I need to do. So this is going to be another stoned enclosure, just to
just to keep this style going. You'll need to be slightly bigger for the uh, for the creatures I'm going to put in here. So I've got some small carnivores. I've got large carnivores. Maybe some ink in the middle. Follow the monorail track a little bit. Cause this is the bit that this is what I like to do the best. This I like making enclosures rather than the uh, beautification of a park. I am capable of beautifying parks. I just Tedious. Oh, I might need to put something just in between there just to uh, Oh, that doesn't look, I can say it doesn't look as big as I was planning, but the thing is, with the size of this, it is, um, oddly, uh, Dissective, dissective. Plus, this is a medium enclosure for a medium dinosaur, not a. Not a palace for a king. I might make this a bit bigger you know like an Indominus Rex isn't going in here or Scorpius Rex or I can have like multiple, multiple um, viewing sections. Just 
trying to get these rocks lined up as well as I can so then that so I won't have so many gaps to fill in Right, I'm going to keep that one in. Maybe not keep that one in. That works. Right. So, let's apply a filter. Carnivore, medium sized. Um, Serato? You know what? Allosaurus. Allosaurus. We can have six in there, that'll be fine. He says. Right, so. Attraction. What I want to put in is a lug attraction. Or maybe it's not as... Maybe it's not as, like, wow as I thought it was size-wise. I kind of wanted something that you can go under. Let's have, let's have a look and see if this one works. No. Thought I saw somebody do that. That's disappointing. Oh well. Um We'll put this down a bit. Over here. We'll put this higher. slightly higher, not all the way higher. Aggressive. Mm. Large appetite, tolerant, nocturnal. Okay, four. Four will do.
Right, so this is going to be the main issue. Can the goats get out? And the answer will probably be yes. What I will also do, just in case, meat feeder. Maybe another goat feeder in there. Well, that was a goat then. So yeah, we'll we'll come across a goat probably. Collecting asset. Now the size doesn't bother me because the uh, territory will extend past that. So. Just mostly the uh, destructive force of the Allosaurus that is going to concern me. But we'll just wait for him to go in, see what happens. Transit has commenced. thing is it always looks smaller than you put the thing in and you think oh my god it's massive Transporting asset. now the goat may be able to squeeze through there Transportation complete. every dinosaur that's recreated is important but some also capture our imaginations. The Allosaurus is one such animal. It is believed that in its original environment, it was squarely at the top of the food chain. I'm interested to discover if that's true, given the opportunity. So, it, this probably isn't... Heading to pick up the asset. So I'm putting one up there because it the, this it'll count this as part of the territory, so that'll be a good uh, indication. I guess what I could do if I really wanted to, I could extend it all the way over here and put a few more in. But let's, yeah, because it hasn't quite found the forest over there, so I think I have taken the comfort off Asset transportation in progress because it should be dropping below 100 percent yeah I think I've just put max comfort on for everything um I like doing enclosures, they're fun. See, something like that would have been awesome, but that's for the charcoal down to source because it's run the, the right to have an enclosure that size. Should be fine. 
should be fine. I've got to do all this still. It's daunting. Well, at least nothing's got trapped up against the, the walls like in the previous episode, so that, that's a win at least. We would have been fine anyway. Okay, they want more hotels. Oh well. Come down to, yeah, right, it's just thirty percent. So I imagine all these have really shut up because of the Allosauruses going in. It's a neat little enclosure. Let's add some. Let's add some. Add some rocks around. Yeah, that's a neat little enclosure. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to have a think about what to do around the outside. Okay, you... I... Hmm, maybe... Maybe not. I have a dinosaur stuck in a fence. Operations. Ranger team. Just put that there. At least he doesn't have far to uh, fly to rescue this dinosaur. See if she can actually hit it. Or well, he can actually hit it. I'm guessing it tried to phase through, but didn't quite. It's, it's getting hit. Um, let's pull it over Oh frick it just Asset there. I couldn't remember if I actually put Yeah, meat. It's fine. There we go. Asset transportation underway.
Alright. So stop panicking. You haven't got time to panic. You need to eat and you need to drink. And So come and sort yourself out quickly before you die. Okay, it's going to eat that at least. So that's... See, this is why I put these kinds of food sources in. Because... Are you going to sleep? No. It didn't make it. Okay. Well, we tried. If we didn't do the panicky thing, we uh, we would have been fine. Let's get another one. See, that's what happens when you try to phase into a uh, phase through a fence. That's fine. I did jinx it because, um, because I was about to end and I was all like, yeah, no deaths, nothing getting caught. Yep, that's what happens. But then again, I could not predict that. Could not predict that. So, um, I'm going to go have a think, because I kind of want to move on, I, I do want to start building a, a different park. I know I'm about to complain, but I think this is too big. And we've been saying for ages, oh, we want bigger maps, bigger maps, but... Damn. Hmm. Right, I'm going to end the episode here. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I might do a few bits in between. Just do a bit of decorating, putting trees in, and then uh, just setting these to something... Maybe putting some extra attractions in. And we'll do a bit of a loop round next time. And I'll decide what I'm going to do with the rest of the map. Uh, so please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.